Hello, howdy folks! Welcome back to Battle Brothers! We're looking at the ruins of Kragenheim. Deep in the forest, west of Crouchfest. We're not sure what's in there, but I am pretty certain that we're thinking it's bandits. Pretty darn certain. So let's gear up for a fight in the forest. Um, if it's a fight in the forest, I don't think we want... Then again, it would be really nice to train up some of our bros, wouldn't it? But if it's like that camp that we had, and that was also pretty close to town. That was nasty stuff. But I think what made it nasty was all the ranged enemies, but in a forest, we might not have to worry about ranged enemies. But even so, let's, um... Let's play it safe with our shield bros, anyway. They can at least clog up whatever parts need to be clogged. Or cover cover the bros that need to be covered. And we'll just play it that way. Kyrbor and Gaudron. Uh, that's a little low on the health for uh, Kyrbor, I think. That's one or that's a just one bad round of getting hit by some crossbows, especially when you have negative range defense. So we'll put Bane in instead. Who's? I mean, he's got almost the same health as Kyrbor, actually, but he does have the range defense. So there is that. Why does he have arrows? What are you doing, Bane? Get, get rid of those arrows. He's got a pokey stick too. That'll come in handy. I think that's it. And if it's somehow full of geist or something, we'll just run for the hills. But I am very confident that it's it's dude bros in there and we got to we got to take them down looks to me like we're we're pretty ready we've got two new bros at least for some training and let's get in there before nightfall perfect okay ah okay well yep that confirms it the extent of what we're up against, though. Wow, they're just straight up charging us like this? There's a Warhammer. Interesting. Wow, it's a veritable mob coming right for us. Why don't we get Fritzy up here? Hmm. Who is that? Ulrich the Cruel. Doesn't look like too much special, but we might knife him down just to get some good sellable material out of it. That's a tree. That's an open space, so we're going to let them just kind of come in at us. The mob is over here, though. So let's get Tosa moving up there. Ike, Leonard, and Aid Blade should have no problem here whatsoever. In fact, let's get Ike moving up. We don't need all these guys here. Just a dwarf. Let's move here. Go here with Bane. Duke can go there. And Aid Blade, let's just... Yeah. That looks alright. Man, some of our bros are looking pretty darn heavy now. That we're not wearing uh, undead garbage. Let's get Eagel up there. Uh, Jost, I suppose we'll just put him there for now. Leonard, why don't you wait... And Kettleman, you can get up with 
Yeah. We need someone up there to, to hold all these guys back. Move Jostador for a little bit more. Can we move Jost a little bit more? Beautiful. I think I just skipped someone. I'm really hoping there's a Hedge Knight in here. Did they just come charging at us and all stop in their tracks when they saw us, maybe? <laughs> that could be the way. Let's get some shots in here. Yeah. That'll do it. We just gotta, we gotta provoke them to coming towards us. Uh-oh. Someone in the grassy knoll over there. Toso, why don't you fling some arrows in? Interesting. And we'll wait here. Let's get Ike up there. Duke just, yeah. Who cares? And Bane. How about, no, all right. I don't know what to do with Aid Blade, so we'll just leave him here. And Leonard, let's get him down here. I want to give them opportunity to surround us so they don't go running all around and making this battle last longer. Just leave Jost where he is. Another Warhammer, huh? Okay. Looks like, sadly, no special items so far, but that's just what the campaign is. Let's get Galdron here ready to start. Delivering some damage over there. We're gonna step up on these guys with Ike if they don't do anything. Fritzy. There we go, an archer down. I know there's one right in there, right? So let's... No, he was in that area. But that's okay. More moving in. There we go, that's what we wanted. Come fight us, please. Another bandit leader. Oh, he's just a, ra a raider. He just looked just very different for a minute there. Yep, looks like some of them are starting to go around the side. Toso. There we go. Another one, maybe? No. All right. Good, he doesn't shield wall. Just a dwarf, why don't we step in on this guy? Get out your axe. And miss 75% against a shield. Yep, that's kind of just normal. Par for the course. Didn't quite kill that guy with Ike like I had hoped. That guy takes a shot in the face. Eagle. He's not wearing a helmet. And Duke. Damn it. Two hits. That parader is not down. Let's get just Joss doing something. Bane. Can we clear it out? Come on, Bane. Double miss. That one was a survivor. And we'll wait for this guy to come around the corner with a... Uh, Black Crow Balthazar there. And we'll have Ike step in. Fritzy, that man is marked for death. But we get his friend instead. Uh, Bane really needs anticipation. It'll be soon. He'll get it soon.
Yeah, it's a good thing we brought the uh, the kite shields on this one, I think. Still a number of them alive. There's quite a few. Looks like there a lot of them are going around. Toso? Maybe we can hit him. Oh, close. Just a dwarf. Uh, 57%. Miss. Miss. Ike knows how to get business done. Yep. This guy's almost caught up to us. Why don't we take a step back for and stay so Galdron can get some hits on him. Let's step in with Bane. Can we hit someone with a javelin, maybe? Like, uh... 52, 69. Got him. And I guess we'll just pull out a fresh pack. Eagle, that man's dead. Let's get moving in. Step in with Jost a little bit. That one's broken. Duke. Yep. Kill. Step. Kettlemans. Move on in. I guess Aid Blade's just going to stay there for now. Oh, I should have stepped in with Galdron. Oh well. Oh, Fritzy actually takes a shot. How about you return fire? There we go. Little tit for tat there. Maybe a little bit more than just a tat. A lot of them look like they're coming back now that we're blasting through them. Ah, Kettleman get the willies. Come on, Kettleman. Toso? Let's shoot at Black Crow Balthasar there. And let's let's send Aid Blade down there too. He's he's just standing around. Galdron, can we put one of these men down? Not quite. Ah, uh, just a dwarf. Let's go there. Let's step in with Leonard. Clock him. Ike, blast through. Damn. Okay. Just mash and move. Eagle, yeah, don't make. Oh, we could set that one up for a good kill for Bane. He's dead. I don't want to step out too much and get hit by one of these. Why don't we get out our pike? See if maybe we can. Nah. All right, it's worth a shot. Kettleman almost got him. Duke, how about a swing? All right. There's still a number of bandits we haven't even seen yet, apparently. Ooh. Just a dwarf takes a crossbow shot. No injury, though. That's good. Fritzy. No luck. Oh! Destroy armor on Leonard there does some pretty epic damage. That's gonna cost a lot of tools. Junior. He's dead. I bet you this hammer hits. Yep, it always does. Step in with Aid Blade. Nope. 
Just a dwarf. 89%. Oh, that hurt a lot. That was definitely a critical hit. Holy cow. He just went straight to fleeing. Toso. That's a straight shot if I ever saw one for Toso. Oh, well, all right. I'll take it. Ike, those two are dead. Let's move in. Let's get in there with Eagle. Leonard. Yeah. We gave that one to him. Good. Let's hit him again. No luck that time, though. Step up here with Jost. Bane can move in. Actually, let's move him back out with that crossbow right there. Duke! Dead. Step. Kettleman. Yep, hurt that. Oh, 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 okay. It's messy. What in the world of what? Some random fire from the peanut gallery over there. Oh, come on. Fritzy, let's grab another bundle of arrows. I want that stuff intact so we can uh, take it and sell it. So let's just get moving in. A lot of incoming fire. Aid blade. No luck. Let's get Toso moving. Junior. Ouch. Just a dwarf. Nope. Having a lot of trouble with those 70% shields from Jestadorf. Oh, that man just got bludgeoned to death. Hey, we got another Warhammer. Let's get Ike in there. Get out our own little pokey. Eidrel, let's step in. Sure. Just. There's a kill. How about over here? Another kill. Great. Bane, let's step in. Miss. All right. Duke. Definitely a kill there. Kettleman. Nope. Step in with Galdron. We're just cutting right through this mob. Not a lot of resistance. Let's get Fritzy over here. Yep. All right. The archers are out of here. Leaving Ulrich the Cruel and... Balthazar to uh, to their own devices, I suppose. Let's go ahead and just wait. Start moving in. Sure. Just a dwarf. Bonk. He's down. Junior. He's out of the way. Start moving in with up. That'll do it. Bane. Nothing in the way of knives or uh, nets, but I guess we don't need them this anymore. Oh, that got him pretty good there, didn't it? Let's get Duke over here. Oh, he's going to try and run, I think. Yeah. Good couple of pokes. Looks like he's not going to try and run this turn, though. No, we're going to uh, run them down. Yes. They're all, they cleared out. They just cleared out. Ah, we're, we're having... I don't know. Forest. Come on, Ike. Just end it. There we go. Let's just skip to the end. Well, you know... No level ups. We did get the Warhammer, a couple flails, and some armor that we can sell. All right. 
not the results I would have wanted, but that's okay. Let's hand out our shields again before we forget. And we did find some 215 helmets. Bane, okay. And Rabe. Boy, these helmets are rapidly going out of style, it seems, but we should probably hold on to them for the occasional new bro. Let's repair this and this and this and this and that and this and that. And everything else looks like it should be selling for a decent amount. Let's head back to Crouch Fest because we know the prices there are amazing still. We can offload everything we just found. And then for sure we're going to go somewhere else. Last episode we really like just stayed right in that area. But that's just kind of how it worked out, you know? Alright. Let's start... Wow, 607 for that noble sword. That's beautiful. Looks like we found some amber. Saw this stuff. We don't need it. We already have one Warhammer. I don't think we need two. Yeah. Sell, 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 sell. And the reinforced Mel Halberk. We don't need those. We'll get rid of this stuff. We're doing good. We're doing good on the funds. You know, these are close enough. Let's just sell them to make room for more loot. We got a bunch more tower shields. Sell two of them. One, two, three, six. I think six ought to work in case we come across another mega bandit. Or I guess we could end up fighting some goblins soon. No new bros. Okay. There's a contract, though. I need some sturdy men to guard Rymar, an envoy. He's going to Blankenstadt, which, if you know your politics, is not under... Oh, is this part of the Noble War? Escort Rymar, the envoy, to Blankenstadt in the northeast. Isn't that... That's our favorite city, right? A thousand gold to go all the way up there? It's going to cost us way more than that to do that. I I don't think that's worth it. I think that's just like a mission that, that's like a sign the Noble War is coming. It seems pretty silly for us to do that, though. Let's head up here. We haven't been here for a while. Let's definitely avoid those ghouls. And... We'll pass, pass through Merrick on our way up. We could probably patch up Kirbor while we're there. Anything in the market? Let's pick up those tools. We have plenty of food. No one uh, to hire. Let's just uh, put Kirbor back together and then head out. Whoa, what's this? You cross into a small hamlet beside the path. It's a rather nondescript place safe for the woman tied atop a soon-to-be bonfire. Oh, are they going to burn a woman? They're going to burn me. You must do something. I've done no wrong here. Hey, let's ask Fritzy what he says. Fritzy steps forward with a skeptical eye. Looks at the woman who, who strains to say please. The witch hunter stares her up and down. Then he turns and drives a blade through the man holding the torch. Oh, my God. He gargles with it in his throat. All right. Oh, hold on. The witch... Okay, he yanks out the blade and the torch wielder stands there for a moment, but his wide eyes slowly settle down. The blood stops and it is... Oh, God. I guess the, uh... The witch-er in this case was evil. Sfritzi drives his weapon to the evil spirit's skull. The skin hardens like a desert earth before chipping away. Wow. 
Fritzy gains resolve and initiative, and everyone liked it. Nice. All right. Fritzy saves the day, literally. Cool. Let's move on. Nice job, Fritzy. Always keep a witch hunter around. Apparently, they just have some awesome skill, uh, awesome events for being themselves. Ooh, man. I wonder what was moving through there. Brunewald before night. Yes. Ooh, there's a place called Cutthroat's Hideout in the steppe southwest of here. Don't know who lives there. <laughs> Camp of the Senate. It's in the forest to the northwest. I think that's a goblin place, right? Could be. Anyone to hire? Bjarn, some deserted nobles, mostly just disowned nobles and stuff. Oh, there's a coat of scales. Oh, I really want that. Those are pretty rare to find. I really, really want that for just a dwarf. It's going to be the only kind of armor that he can wear with his fatigue as it is. With the noble war around the corner. Oh, how did that get in there? Let's get rid of that. We, we have the funds. Let's do it. Where'd it go? Oh, there. For a second there, I was like, seriously, where'd it go? Boom. Oh yeah, it cost, it cost him one more fatigue, but look at that. That is way more armor that he desperately needed. Now he can toe-to-toe -to -toe with some stuff, I think. That's a happy purchase. We're almost out of our undead stuff. We still have a lot of it floating around, but um, you know. One thing at a time. Let's sell this. We don't. We we have one backup full plate and one backup scale, and that'll have to work. Isn't there a weaponsmith as well? Any shiny javelins for cheap? No. Okay. Work, huh? A greenskin horde is terrorizing and plundering the region around Undheim. That's, like, forever far away, isn't it? Yeah, Undheim is just gonna have to fend for itself, but there is... A potentially a bandit fort down here. With the way he named the camp, it sounds like it, but hey, if we go discover it, it's one step closer to our ambition, so screw it, let's go look for it. Cutthroat's hideout. A few master archers, a plethora of raiders, and a few leaders. And I don't see any reason why we shouldn't do that, especially with the archers maybe giving us some more sellable war bows and stuff. And of course the leaders, a few of them, you know, could be good. Let's take a look at what we have here. If there's going to be master archers... I don't want super squishy Bane in here, not until he has anticipation. And I think we're going to transfer back over to our kite shields. Let's get Jost on shield. And Ike on shield. Negative four range defense in this battle seems just bad. Let's put Rainer in. Junior's got some good health. But, oh, man. I think we might bench Junior and put Ingolf in and just 
shoot it out with these archers. It's too risky. Too risky to have our, some of our low health, low range defense, low armor new bros just take a couple of arrows to the face and then that's it. I don't think I want that. It's, uh, it's morning in a second. Great. I guess we're just going to jump in there. A plethora of raiders. That could be pretty deadly. No hedge knights, but okay. Yep. So it begins. Whoa, that one's got a massive crossbow over there. We're going to want to be careful of that. We're going to also want to get a, our hands on that, too. Both the Master Archers not wearing any, uh... Not wearing any headgear. I think we'll just take some aimed shots from the back. Oh, okay. That one means business. It looks like... It looks like he got a little excited. I don't see his friends so eager to back him up. Ingolf, do that thing you do. The bandit leaders, I don't know, maybe one of them has like a special shield or a helmet, maybe. Trying to always be optimistic, you know. Might as well try. Let's take another aimed shot. We're gonna hit one of these guys sooner or later. Especially in the head. Rainer, you take a shot. I feel bad. This guy is just left in the dust by his friends. Let's see what that crossbow does. He runs off. Interesting. There must, I bet you there's high ground like right there. 26 raiders. Unbelievable. This poor raider's right before the shield wall, turning over his shoulder like, uh, guys? And everyone just shrugs back at him like, dude, I don't know what, what you're, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to be back here. We'll just ignore him. Maybe we'll punch him to death with, uh, Jost and Ike if, uh, if he decides to get into range. Yeah, they're like pulling back. That's interesting. Well, let's just start taking regular shots at their undefended guys and forcing them to come at us because they have... I mean, we've got four Warbos. Decent archers here. We have the advantage. Let's go after him. No shield. We're going to punish you for it. Okay, there's another another taker. Oh yeah, now they're coming for us. This is a long axe. Looks like he's trying to uh, model after just a just a dwarf's winning um, winning outfit. That's a pretty decent helm, but he's also got a war hammer. Balder Forefingers. There's a military cleaver as well. We're just going to murder that guy, but this might want to consider knifing him down for that helmet. It's a good helmet. Toso, I think we'll just clear it out a bit. He can use that experience. Rainer, I think we'll go after that marksman in the back. Good hit. Those master archers are gonna have to move in on us, I think. I would I would hope they do. I think we're gonna step in with everyone. Ike in there and 
get out our sword. Eagle. Yep, let's get in there. Why don't we give this guy a crack? There we go. Bit of a broken nose. Sorry about that. Jost. Hammer time for Jost. Can we step two? Excellent. Now we're set up for a good shatter. Kettleman, let's get you in there. Time to start delivering the pain, I think. Aha! Now they're coming back. Let's take a step up with just a dwarf. And just break a shield. We'll get in here with Duke as well. Okay, now things are getting started, but I'm really worried about that guy right there. He could probably seriously hurt someone. There's another archer. I think it's time to pour on the fire from Fritzy. Well, we got we got one crossbow. I guess I'll take it. All right, here it comes. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't see anything exciting here, though. Well, except for the crossbow. If we get that, it might be pretty awesome. I don't know if that's better than the goblin one. It probably is. Clearly, I think we're going to prioritize that crossbow if we can. Whoa, Eagle, what are you doing? Boy, if Eagle breaks, that's going to be something, isn't it? Rainer, keep shooting. There goes one. Let's keep getting some arrows in on that. Ike is ready for a slash. Yep. Duke, let's blast. This guy's a little clever for Duke, I guess. A blade. Almost got a kill, Eagle. We really need a kill with Eagle here so that we can get cheered up. Jost, how about a shatter? There we go. Can we kill him? Well, it's not helping Eagle's plight. That's for sure. Let's step in with just a dwarf and get out our axe. What are we looking at? 66%, but that will kill him. There it goes. Leonard with crossbows and stuff abounding. Well, these are instant kills with Leonard. Step in with Kettlemond. Another man down. There we go. We're already on top of that crossbow. Step in with Ike. Oh, Toso gets hit really, really, really hard. Fritzy, save Toso. Crossbowmen with rotate, huh? Okay. I'm really worried about Toso right now. They're gonna go for it. Oh, okay. They're gonna go for it. Oh, God. Oh! Toso, he can make a break for it, but this guy is pulling off some clever moves. Ingolf, we got him a little bit. Rainer, I don't think I want to do that. 
Let's get Toso way out over there. He seems pretty safe right now. I bet... <coughs> Dade Blade can break free and move in. Good. Duke, let's just slash. Well, we didn't quite get him in the head like I wanted to, but that's that's all right. Ike, let's do a slash of our own. Only one kill. Just a dwarf. 70% miss on a shield. Okay. Cattleman, one man down. Working on that master archer. Hmm, I really want that helmet, but that hammer is going to be doing some damage to us. Screw it, let's just... Well, let's miss anyway. Let's step up with Jost, wallop that guy. And we're a little too tired to follow it up. Yeah, they really want to get Toso. We're massacring them. Oh, God, knock it off. Knock it off. This master archer's in the open. Oh, I knew one of these hammers was going to end up hitting us. Ingolf. Aim. Ah, oh, almost got him. Rainer. Come on, Rainer. There we go. One Master Archer down, and Toso is definitely free and clear. Let's get Justadorf on the move. Step in with Eagle. Duke, let's blast through. Two kills. More damage. Ike. Well, we hit the leader. And Leonard. Another good hit. That man is down. We got the crossbow. Awesome. Jaws can move in on him. No survivor style. Yep. Oh, Eagle let this raider go. Let's follow him. Fritzy, ah, uh, can't quite get him. There we go. Oh, Leonard takes another nasty hit with the hammer. Rainer, there we go. Just a dwarf, let's step in, switch, clobber. Toso even further away. <laughs> Just for my own, just for my own feelings of security. Ike, kill. Duke, not so lucky. Let's get Leonard in here, nope. Start working Kettleman down. Yeah, he's super dead. That man is super dead, he's dead. And I think all that's left is this one infamous Adelbert, who I don't think is going to be surviving the next 30 seconds. Yep, he's starting to get a little worried now. There it is. Is he going to cleave someone? Of course he is. Leonard kills him. It's over. Leonard gains a level. Toso looking not so hot. We got the heavy crossbow. We'll have to compare that to Magnus's weapon. 
But overall, a whole lot of nothing. We got this goofy bassinet, but I guess it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. Leonard, 14. Let's definitely get that melee defense and resolve. And let's work on that fatigue a little bit. So let's take a look here. We've got 50 out of 70 with 50 ignore armor, 75 effective. Oh, it's exactly the same. Shoot heavy bolt. And fix 50 to 70. Shoot bolt 50 to 70. Does the. Aha! Okay, so this has a plus 10% chance to hit with minus 3% fall off. But this has a 15% chance to hit with a 3% fall off. So this is a little bit better. The knockback is fun, but when I fire a crossbow, especially at like a goblin, I want it to hit and kill. So I think this is a bit of an upgrade, even though they're almost identical. A little bit more fatigue too. I think it looks cooler too. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. Probably because I just haven't had one before. Let's re repair that warbow to sell. Long axe, military cleaver. These flails and axes are going to be good for sales. The bassinet, 210. Yeah, I don't think anyone really has much use of that. We'll end up selling that too. Okay. Well, whoa, that was kind of weird. We like teleported a bit there. We used up a lot of tools on that one. But that's what happens when you face down, like, hammers and stuff. Aha! You enter Brunewald and find a group of laymen standing around a wooden platform. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Looks like as though the Saturnine's future just got brighter on account of the loads of gold you're about to be earning. War is upon us. It has begun, my friends. It has begun. Well, we're going to need some tools. And let's start off loaded. Yeah, we don't need hooked blades. I don't think we need this many long axes. We don't need this many spiked impalers. Wow, these warbows are going to be bringing in some money. Saw all this military cleaver. No. Round shields. No. Definitely not that. None of those. Are we still holding a bunch of kite shields? Yes, we are. So that means we can get rid of uh, these two. We're repairing these up. We'll sell them when they're finished. Looking good. We're looking good. Okay, so they still have the same stuff in the armor. That's fine. It never hurts to check. Have we looked at the hiring? Yeah, it's all the nobles. I think we're ready to hit the road. Now then, the noble war is here for real. And I think... Crouchfest is such a nice city, too. But I really think that we ought to fight for the yellow, green, forest, fish, blue people. Go to Blankenstadt because this is going to be an excellent place. And if we need to like hide out, there's plenty of places to run around out here. I don't know if like we're going to be actively hunted or, or anything like that. 
but there's plenty of like we've got sun people and the red or the the arrow faction within hitting distance of any one of our friendly cities so I think we'll go down to Mirwick and probably take a boat to Blankenstadt and then um, and then get started something like that so let's get moving this is gonna be something I've heard all about it I've I've briefly seen a couple of episodes on it like months ago. I have I can't even remember anything about it. Look at that, they're already fighting. Holy cow. And those companies are huge. We didn't have we get it we didn't pick up any wounds from those crossbows, so let's just uh Oh of course. Where's Sand Kite? Does that get us closer? Nah, we might as well just walk. Let's just let's just get over there. We can uh, check these CDs for uh, tools on the way over. It'll be our last vi visit for a while. Plus, we have some repairs to do anyway. Oh, man. This is going to be crazy. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was like a legit flat top for 1900. No weaponsmith. Nope, none of that. Temple's good. Let's have a round and continue. Our funds are getting a little bit low, relatively speaking. But I'm willing to bet they're going to start going up. Boy, the knights, I, I think, have like really good gear. And that could really help propel us towards feeling like we're an endgame group. This place is just a mess. Let's pick up Linehard here. Let's see what he's all about. One star, huh? That's pretty good, but it's also risky. I would rather have points and fatigue for any new bro. I think we can afford to be picky right now. Especially because we have almost no room for anyone. Let's wait for that like three star iron lungs or anyone with iron lungs really. That's, that's what we really need is just someone to have iron lungs. What do they got here? Cemetery. Wow, that's a lot of money. But I think I, I'm, I'm excited to do the uh, the Noble War. So let's just skip that contract and get right on up to Gronenberg. And then maybe we'll see what they have on offer there. Hogfolk Road. Weird. Come on, please. Before, before night. Yes. All right. Who is for hire here? Nothing particularly special. The marketplace, this is kind of why I like Gronenberg. It's almost always got tools at extreme discounts. The armor, not so great. The weaponsmith, not so great either. What are we looking at? Okay. A great battle is coming and that your help is needed. If you choose to accept, you'll go to Sir Rabe Southwest of here and await further instruction. Wow. To the war camp and assist the army in their battle against House Eisenstein? Doesn't... That would, it sounds like that's like the end of the war. Like if we do that battle, the war ends? I'm not sure. Let's get some food before we uh, forget. Yeah, some fishies.
Well, let me know what you think. I'll probably have to do some quick research to find, because I don't want to run a contract that ends the Noble War right away. But uh, since we're at an hour, pretty much, it would be silly to take the contract in uh, right now anyhow. So I'm going to have to find out what that does. But this is it. The Noble War is here. It's going to get nasty. It's going to get fun. Hopefully we find some cool gear on the Knights. I heard they have that stuff. So thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.